How's it going everyone? Sean here with Unlustrous Audio and today I'm just going to give you guys a really quick tip on a super cool dialogue creative edit you can do to make your voice uh, honestly sound like a ghost poltergeist that ooh, spooky scary type sound. Um, yeah, so we're just going to get into it. No intro, no fuss, no bust. Let's just hop right in. So what I've done here is I have prepared a short uh, dialogue statement just for tutorial purposes. This is test audio for creative dialogue editing. So super simple, uh, super clean, and all I've done here is just basic EQ edits to get it ready. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is, I always like to, whenever editing dialogue, anything, I like to make a copy of it and edit the copy. That way if something goes wrong, I always have the um, original to go back to. So I'm going to make a copy here and the first thing you want to do is actually reverse it. Uh, most audio editing, even uh, Premiere Pro or Adobe Audition, has the ability to reverse the audio natively, so you don't have to worry about buying anything for that. So we're just going to render the reversed, and this is what it sounds like now. So it sounds pretty cool. Pretty weird already. But now that it's reversed, I'm going to just print it onto a new track. So I've created a uh, bus here that's going into this track, and we're just going to go ahead and record like so. Cool. So now I'm just going to go ahead and hide the first track. Now all we have to work with is our reverse. Cool. So now what you're going to want to do is add a reverb to it. And you're going to want to go ahead and choose a reverb that has a very long decay time or tail to it. And the reason is we're going to use that tail as a lead in later on during this processing. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, ROM. It is a very good reverb plugin. I love, love this one. It just sounds super nice, super clean. Uh, we're going to go ahead and listen to what it sounds like on default. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, 4.8 seconds. I'm actually just going to boost that up a little bit to six second decay time. And this really, um, once you understand and hear what the end result sounds like, you can kind of think in your head a little bit, okay, how long do I want the lead up going into this ghost effect? And you can really play around with it. But this is all personal taste as far as what you want in your reverb sound. I'm just going to go ahead and do some of my basic go-to settings and okay let's just see what this sounds like cool and i like that you can still hear intelligibility with the voice even though it's reversed uh and the decay is not too much not too little i feel like it's just right for what we want to do so now that we have this reversed with reverb we want to go ahead and make a new track again and very similar to last time just get your bus going into the new track and record it print it to the new track now the thing is when you do record this and this is very important so i'm going to zoom in a little here very important when you record this one you want to make sure that the tail of the reverb is recorded fully so for example i did the 6.8 uh ish seconds of reverb tail make sure you record that all 6.8 seconds it may seem like annoying like it's annoying but you do not want the reverb tail to cut off it just no look at me look at me yeah record the tail. Cool. Back at it. And now we're just going to record it with the tail. Just kidding. Now we're going to record it with the tail. Sweet. So the reverb was recorded. It decayed beautifully, naturally. Now we're just going to go ahead and hide and make that inactive. And now we have the reversed with the reverb baked into the file. And it sounds like this. Cool. 
So now what you're going to want to go ahead and do is select that clip again, go back to your reverse plugin or a setting or option in whatever program you're using, and you're going to want to head and reverse it again. This will put it back into intelligibility mode, I like to call it, where we can hear what's being said, but with the added benefit of the reverb leading in, and this is what's really going to give it that really spooky sound, like so. This is test audio for creative dialogue editing. So pretty cool. It's got that lead in. Um, my reverb settings were a bit unnatural for this sort of effect. That means I would just have to go back, tweak some of the settings. It sounds a bit almost robotic or metallic to my ears. So I'll just go back, change some settings. But that is the general idea of how to get this sound, that reverb lead up with that whisper uh wispiness under uh, under it very common in horror movies you probably will hear this effect in some form or another if you're watching a horror movie especially with ghosts and demons love to use this it's called the poltergeist effect i think they used it actually in the poltergeist movie makes sense why it's called that but there's two other things i like to do to add on to kind of this creepiness that personally i just like and you may like it you can play around with it um and by all means, this is just a starting point for the sound. Uh, this is the basic how-to. But then you can go ahead and continue to add on some more effects and uh, other things like that to really make it your own and make it stand out. Put your own original spin on it. So to start, I like to... Uh, I like to take the original sound and add the reversed version back under it. So even though this is now being played back normally, I still like to keep the reversed under it just a little bit. Remember that? Okay, so now let's hear it played back with our new uh, printed effect. This is test audio for creative dialogue So I like it. We just need to do some basic mixing, bring it down. This is test audio for creative dialogue editing. So it just adds another layer of texture underneath it. And I do like to do one more thing, and that is add some whispering underneath it, some creepy whispering. I mean, what is a horror sound effect without some creepy whispering? Or if you wanted, you could also add child laughter or anything like that. That's pretty typical. This is test audio for creative dialogue editing. Whispers were a bit quiet, so I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. This is test audio for creative dialogue editing. And then, of course, the more layers you add, the more mixing you'll have to do for this effect. But that is the basic general idea of how to get a spooky, poltergeist, reverby, demony, ghosty effect to your voice. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip on creative dialogue editing for your videos. You are now able to make a ghost poltergeist sound for your content. If you got any value out of this video at all, please do me a favor. Go down and hit like and subscribe. It does help this channel out a lot and helps me be able to continue to make more content, free content like this for you guys so that you can improve your own content for your own videos, content marketing strategies, whatever, hobbies, whatever you're doing on YouTube. Um, so that just about wraps it up for today. Thank you all so much. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.